Have you always lived in um, Royston? No. And can you tell me where you were before that, if you'd like? Yeah, I was born in Colorado. Oh, okay. And then moved to North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and then I came here. Okay. So I've been here most of my life now, but I have been in other places. How did you like Charlotte? It, Charlotte was a decent size when I got there. It's gotten really big now, um, but you know it was okay. Yeah, uh, Greenville, I lived there for a little yeah. bit. It was. It's gotten crazy. It's crazy. Now. Yeah, you um, couldn't leave any time before ten and after mm-hmm. three o'clock when yeah. I lived there. Yeah, it's it's it, it it outgrew its size. I mean, it was you know it was a decent size city when we first got there, and then it just got so big so fast that you know they couldn't keep up with everything. So. Um, traffic's crazy. Um, yeah. My sister still lives out there, so. Oh, yeah? What part? She lives in Clover, Okay. South Carolina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My sister just... lives, um, near the South Park side, okay. and I, yeah. I have a niece, well, two nieces now and a nephew, and I love going to see them, but I, yeah. I hate driving there. It's like, did you did you go to school there? I didn't. I went to school at the University of South Carolina, and then I had a my roommate in college did accounting, and so uh-huh. she went up there to work for Deloitte and Touche. Yeah. And so I was like, sure, why not yeah. Charlotte? It was 22, 23, and yeah. it was just it was a really hard place to make friends. Yeah. It was I mean, it was cool to find live in a city, but I was I lasted nine months. I did not yeah, last. It long. wasn't it wasn't my favorite. I now I enjoyed out west and. and but Charlotte was, it was just kind of a stopping place for me, too. I was only there a couple of years before I came down here. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good place for financial, like banking. It is. It's so. a huge banking center. So. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. I know, it's interesting. I heard Greenville is, or Charlotte was like Greenville mm-hmm. way back in it the was. day. And, and, and so. I love Greenville mm-hmm. now. But Greenville will get to be like Charlotte at some point. Greenville's traffic, I know I'm... I'm a baby when it comes to traffic, but I'm like, it's awful. Yeah. Uh, people are like, that's nothing. But it's really, in the 10, 11 years we've lived there, mm-hmm. it's really seen a growth. Yeah. So I'm mm-hmm. not it'll be, it'll be It'll be like Charlotte before too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like Greenville. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Uh, right now, this is to let you know, I live in a single uh, family brick home. Mm-hmm. Um, we've lived there for about 10 years. Can you tell me what type of home you live in? Yeah. Um, so it's a single family residence. It's not brick. It's got um, hardy plank siding on it. Oh, okay. It. Um, we built it, I guess, about 11, 12 years ago now. Oh, okay. So, All right. Yeah. Have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? I have not. Okay. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Um, I, I think at the time when we built, uh, you know, up especially up in this part of the, the mm-hmm. state, solar it wasn't a big deal. I don't even know of anybody that had solar at that mm-hmm. time. There's uh, there's one other house that's in this area that I know of that has solar, and I'm sure there's more, but it's visible and I pass it. Um, and so it wasn't it wasn't anything that I think I was aware of. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't. Nobody made that decision, or I wasn't. I didn't even look into it because I right. didn't even think about it. I right guess, at the time, absolutely. And your utility company, I'm assuming, hasn't offered you in the 11 years any type of yeah we're workshop with Heart, or any. Yeah. I don't know. We're what with they would do. Heart EMC, so it's a, a local EM, okay. You know EMC, and um, you know to my knowledge, they haven't. Now they may have you know sent something in the mail, and I just right you know, disregard it. But mm-hmm. to my knowledge, there hadn't been anything out there. Okay. So, um, would you, if it was available, want solar? Tell me why you would or would not want solar. I'm not opposed to solar. Mm-hmm. Um, if it makes sense, mm-hmm. you know, if it's cost effective, um, you know, I think, I think there's some benefits to it. To me, up until this point, uh, solar has always been, you know, the, the cost outweighs the benefit. The cost of in, in the, the, installation exactly. or buying it, and so 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 it doesn't make sense economically to mm-hmm. do it, um, and so you know until I see that that change or mm-hmm. until I you know somebody offers something to me that makes sense, um, you know I'm not interested. But if if it becomes a situation where solar becomes more um, cost effective. And, and provides a better alternative to what I've got, absolutely, I'd be interested. Mm-hmm. 
so more like lowering your your bills. Yeah, because my like. bill is high. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that from Ooh, few I people. Just got, this last one was terrible. So. Yeah, mm. because every I mean, does everything in your house run like, or do you have natural Everything's gas? Everything's off. Okay. Of, yeah, electricity. Yeah, so our whole house. We don't have any. We have propane for for Water. gas logs. Oh, logs. Okay. Yep, yeah, and that's it. So everything else is run off of electricity. So yeah. It's, it's pretty expensive, this, yeah. especially in the summer when it gets hot like it was this last month. It gets up there. Oh, so. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I I, I can't even think about what my bills going to be in about a three weeks down there. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about rooftop solar adoption in general. Here is a map of the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, when looking at this map, where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar. Could you draw that on the map? Hmm. If I had to guess, I would say it'd be somewhere in that range. Would be the southwest is what I would think would invest in the most solar. And I say that because I'm from there. Out here, we got a lot of trees. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. So out there is more desert, um, so the sun... Um, to me, you, you would have more access to sunlight from daylight to dawn. So. Yeah. Um, no, when you were out in Colorado, I don't know how old, old you were when you left, but mm-hmm. did you see a lot of solar when I you I didn't. Were? No. I didn't. Uh, I was young when I was in, in Colorado, so I didn't see yeah. much solar at all. Um, I know I have an aunt and uncle who live in California, and they've talked about solar, and I don't think they have solar, but they've talked about getting solar out there. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that would be my guess. Yeah, Everything absolutely. Else, um, you know, once you get out here, it's a lot of trees and hills and out there it's a lot flatter and more desert mm-hmm. type terrain. So mm-hmm. that would be my guess. Okay. Now what kind, um, or what makes these communities, um, so different from people in, uh, Franklin County, Georgia? I don't think it's a people per se. I just think, um... I think in this part of the country, you know, like I said, it's flatter. Um, you have less uh, tree cover. Um, you know, if you look at around here, like, for instance, my mom's house, I don't know how much sunlight she even gets mm-hmm. on her house because she's completely surrounded by trees. In our house, we've got trees all around, so we would get the, the midday sun and not the early morning or the late afternoon sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. That, that would be the only reason I would think that that would be more conducive or those people may adopt it. Um, and I don't know enough about solar to say, you know, if you don't get enough sunlight, does that make it less efficient? Right. You know, do you do you spend more on the, the equipment and everything and get less benefit if you don't have enough sunlight? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know that part of it, but that, just on my understanding, I would think that that would be better over there. Okay. And the second part to this question is, um, even though you, you answered it, but I'm just going to, you said it wasn't people, but mm-hmm. the question is what kind of people live in these communities that are adopting? So the people that do have um, the solar, rooftop solar, mm-hmm. what kind of people, like maybe what range or? Yeah. I would think that, you know, right now the people, I guess that, I would think would be pushing solar more than anything are those folks that feel like um, they're doing something for the environment. Um, so, you know, when in my in that, and I'm not a anti environment person, but I'm also a I've got a family, and mm-hmm. so you have to weigh environment or kids eat. You know, so those are the the things that I weigh. So I would think you know the people that that adopt solar or have adopted solar up to this point. You know, they're probably more concerned about the environment, um, more concerned about, um, you know, trying to have clean energy per se versus, you know, the rest of the world is just trying to, you know, get their kids through school and, you know, graduate and Mm -hmm. and pay the bills. So Mm -hmm. um, that's my thoughts on that. Do you think people that are adopting it tend to have that kind of money or a little bit more of the money to do it in that sense uh, or just living out in this area i would think that the people that have adopted it to this point probably do probably have more um 
I would say disposable income. Mm-hmm. They might not make more money per se, but they just don't have as much in the expense side. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, you know, like my aunt and uncle, they have no kids. Yeah. So, you know. That makes it huge. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, paying for solar is, is not as big of a deal as right. it is to me. You right. Know? Absolutely. Um, and, I, you know, for, for those types of people getting a return over 10 years, you know, makes sense to them. For somebody like me, I want a quicker return mm-hmm. because, you know, if I'm more investing, I need to see the benefit of that quicker. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, that would make a lot of difference, too, as far as how quick you get your return on your investment. So Exactly. And then that would, have, would that affect if you, like, were moving, like, out of your home, like, being in your home? Like, let's say you're, I don't know if you're in your forever home or you Mm -hmm. like to be in that home. Does that affect if you would invest too, like, versus if you thought you might be moving down the road and, you know, you'd be leaving your panels, you know? I guess if, um, and again, if, if, and we don't have any plans on leaving at some point, that house is too big for me if, for me to be there by, you know, me and my wife, Mm -hmm. you know, when the kids are gone. Mm -hmm. But I would think if you're investing in solar, depending on that return, you would want to make sure that you're going to get the benefit of that return. I don't think, and this is just me thinking, I don't think, you know, if you have solar, somebody would pay you more money for that versus, you know, at least around here, I don't think right. so. Right, like your your home value would not... It wouldn't go up. ...increase. That's so right. there's no sense, like, versus maybe a new windows or yeah. something like that. Or investing something. in your kitchen or something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it's right. something that's more aesthetic. That's right. People, versus... people are, are very, um, they... I guess they're visual, and so, you know, um, up to this point, you know, uh, solar panels aren't the prettiest things that mm-hmm. are on a roof, and so, you know, it wouldn't be something, oh, man, that's the most pretty <laughs> solar panels on that roof, <laughs> and I'm going to pay $10,000 more for that yeah. house, yeah. Uh, versus, man, look at that kitchen, that's an awesome yeah. kitchen, so, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't think you would get the <laughs> the return yeah. from that. No, I understand. So. I, I, can, I could completely doing that too with yeah. when we looked at places like Ooh. what do you feel about how it looks on a house is there a pro like on your house specifically if it had to go on the front side would that be an aesthetic issue or is it um, more of the well it, it depends on uh, i guess how I, and i haven't seen the only one that i've seen recently is that one i was telling you that um i pass every now and again um and it's not it's not ugly it's just you know it's nothing that i would say man that really looks good either you know it's nothing that's you know so as long as it doesn't take away from the Mm -hmm. the uh, appearance of the house i don't think it would bother me to me i would i guess i would rather it be on the back so it doesn't take away from the Mm -hmm. front house but if you know as long as it's not just gaudy looking it would be fine now on that kind of going a little bit in that to that too would you be willing to cut down trees since you said you have a shaded yeah. house, would you be willing to do that if the trees are part of your aesthetic or the cooling, mm-hmm. or is that where do you feel about that? With um, I, I I would rather have the shade, you know, and 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 not have the the solar panels. If it was a trade off, cut down all my trees and put solar up, I would not cut down all my trees. To me, that um, and that kind of defeats some of the purpose. I don't know. I guess I would have to look at the economics but I like the trees I like living in the area that's got trees around I don't like you know just looking out to bare land so yeah yeah (laughs) absolutely absolutely well I think that it definitely can play a part in Mm -hmm. you know what people are willing to do or you know for their homes and in their yards if Mm -hmm. you'd like that um okay so now we're going to do a map of Georgia we're going to do the same thing so um, in what community in Georgia do you think people have adopted the most solar? And you can circle or mark however you'd like. I know this is it's question. hard because there's no like, yeah. names on any counties. I, if I had to guess, I'm going to say the coastal area Okay, um, would be my guess. Um, I would say that or maybe the Atlanta area, but um, I would say... The coastal area would be the most adopted. Okay, and what makes that community so different from people in Franklin County? Um, again, I just think that it's um, you know the the sun being you know not as many trees in the coastal area and um, having more access to the sunlight. Um, you know, and 
I guess um, those folks along the coast too. And most I'm assuming most of those people these are second homes, so it's not as um, you know aesthetic wise. It probably isn't as big of a deal to them if they're you know if it's something they see every day mm-hmm. and, and cutting down on it. You know electricity bills. You know, being a second home would make more sense, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's just a thought. Yeah, absolutely. So, the second part of that is what kind of people live in these communities or maybe own these homes that are possibly, you know, putting them on there? I would say, you know, probably your higher economic or socioeconomic, Mm -hmm. you know, folks would live in that area. So, again, I think they would have more disposable income Mm -hmm. um, for that type of thing. Um, I think probably, you know, going back to that question too, um, being in, in larger communities, maybe the Atlanta area, you have more, I'm assuming, um, access to solar and more information about solar Okay. versus being in these rural communities where, you know, I mean, I don't even know of a solar company around here right. that would even do it. Right. Um, so we, I know we have some solar farms, you know, that have been put up around here. Mm-hmm. But as far as actually somebody putting solar on the house, I, I couldn't even tell you yeah. who would do that. Yeah. So, um, so I would think that, you know, some some of these large areas like Savannah, Atlanta, they may have more access to that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And with the people in the Atlanta area, not only accessibility, but would you say socioeconomic status as well or um you know or just i think uh, you know in in the the Atlanta area your cost of living is a little higher um so um you know it's a trade off i don't know if um i don't know i don't that that's a good one i don't know if it would make more sense i guess in some of the outlying areas of Atlanta you know they do i know Atlanta in general in your cities in general the um, the salary ranges are higher, so people mm. make more money in the cities um, than you do out in your rural counties doing the same jobs. It's mm-hmm. just the cost of living mm-hmm. situation. But so maybe your rural or your um, outlying areas of Atlanta probably have more access to that, and the cost of living is a little cheaper, so they could you know have a little more access to it. I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So you kind of answered this question just a second ago, but I'm going to ask it just outright. Right. What about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar? I honestly don't know of anybody that's got solar that I can think of. Again, I know one house, it's it's not a friend, it's a, it's some, we know them, mm-hmm. um, but um, it's, a, it's actually a farmer um, that's got the solar panels on the roof. Okay. And so... Um, and I'm assuming they put it on. It, that house has been there as long as I can remember. So they had to put them on 20 yeah. some odd years ago. Wow. Yeah, so it's been out there a while. So That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So why do you think people don't have it here? Uh, again, I think it goes to um, not not having any information on it. Mm-hmm. There's no local you mm-hmm. know, contractor that does it. Yep. Um, and so, you know, it's just a, a lack of um, understanding and not having um having somebody that that's pushing it i mean there's nobody in this area that's pushing solar mm-hmm. so you know if you're if you're um emcs or your george powers or somebody like that you know pushes a program and um you know educates the people on it and i think there may be more access to it you know i know solar is becoming a bigger deal for the electric companies because of the solar farms. And it's a, I think it's a mandate from the, the federal government, too, that they have to have so much, they have to buy so much solar energy okay. as a percentage of what they, you know, use totally. So I think they're mandated to do some of that, but they're just not, we're not getting the information out here. Yeah. You know, that we need to make that kind of decision. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.